Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. When we saw him last, Clark Kent was out on the wing of an airplane, trying to free it of a deadly coating of ice which was sending the ship to certain destruction on the rocky peaks below. The plane was heading westward, carrying Kent and the Andersons toward the North Star Mine, where they hoped to make final contact with the two gold mine swindlers, Pemberton and Deneen. Fearfully, the group in the cabin watched Kent crawl out through the dark and the snow. Then a scream from June Anderson. The plane took a sudden sickening plunge and Clark Kent vanished. Listen. He's fallen! He's fallen! June, stop that! I tell you, he's fallen! Pilot, do something quick! Hang on! We're going into a tailspin! We're plunging down! Goodbye, Clark Kent. For the next few minutes, it's up to Superman. That plane, it's out of control, falling fast. I've got to get under it. What's below us? Looks like the worst part of the Rocky Mountains. Not much time. Here goes. Pilot, shut off that motor. It's just pulling us down fast. Oh, no, it's our only chance. How high up are we? A thousand feet to go. Less than that. Five hundred. Oh! We hit something! It's moving down! We're slowing. We're leveling off. What's happened? I, I don't know. We're stopping right in midair. Look. Look, we've stopped. We stopped moving. Oh, what is it? I think I'm going mad. We're on the ground. Vince. Vince. Oh, it's, it's not possible. I... I can't believe it. Say, was anybody hurt? Mr. Kent. Kent, we thought you were gone. Me? Gosh, no, Captain Anderson. I just hung on by an eyelash until... Oh, say, pilot, that, that was the neatest landing I ever saw. Congratulations. Well, why, Kent, I didn't... What do you mean? Why, you set her down like a feather in the only level spot for miles. Well, so long, folks. Make yourselves comfortable. Mr. Kent, where are you going? To get help or borrow a car. I see lights down the valley away. You ask me, we're mighty close to where we want to be. Meanwhile... In the light of a flickering oil lamp far down in the cold, damp galleries of the North Star Mine, Pemberton and Deneen raise their heads to listen. Hey, put that in a minute, Bart. Here. I hear something. Look here, someone's coming. Touch the light. Look, he's got a light himself. It's Bailey. Oh, all right. Light up again. This way, Bailey. Say, uh, here's the stuff you sent me into town to get. And I brought back something else, too. What is it? News. There's a guy just blew in looking for a car. And he's looking for the North Star Mine, too. What? Who is he? Don't know, Chief. But he got here in a plane with two other guys and a girl. A plane? Yeah. Cracked up just out of town. So this guy come looking for a car to bring the others back in. He wears glasses and talks like an Easterner. Wears glasses? Listen, I'll bet it's that reporter. Clark Kent. Who else? Where is he now, Bailey? Well, by this time, he's probably on his way right here. He's had plenty of time. But what do we do? Here. Yeah. Here's what we'll do. It's our chance to get that Anderson girl for keeps. Bailey, you'll go back and meet them on the road. Just as they get here. Okay, Chief, then what? Let me think. Wait a minute. I have it. You tell Kent he's the one with the glasses, see, that you're the ship. And you've been chasing him ever since he left town. Chasing him? What for? Now, get this. You say his editor's been calling him on the phone from back east. Wants to speak to him right away. And you'll take him to town with you. But what about the others? Leave them here. Joe, you and I will handle a girl, whoever else there is. Have you got that, Bailey? Uh, listen, what will I do with this guy? Can't you guess? We can make sure it's quiet. And complete. Okay, I'd better hurry. They'll be here in a minute. All right, come on, Joe. Run for the elevator. We'll go up on top and wait. Come on, make it fast. Say, is uh, any one of you folks named Clark Kent? Uh, why, yes, I'm Clark Kent. Boy, am I lucky. I'm the sheriff here, Mr. Kent. Oh? You're wanted back in town on the telephone. Tell her name, wait. Gosh, I wonder what's on his mind. I think you'd better go, Mr. Kent. It, it might be important. Might be. It is if he telephoned 2,000 miles. Look, I'll run you back in my car if the other folks want to stay here. Well, are we anywhere near the North Star Mine, Sheriff? Just about falling right into it. Go ahead, Kent. June and I will be safe enough. In case Pemlin and Deneen show up, I'll handle them. Oh, come along if you're coming, young fella. That guy on the phone, Sheriff, was in a powerful sweat. Jump right in here with me. All right. I won't be long, Miss Anderson. Better stay by the car, Captain. Oh. 
do you say we build a fire, June? Light up the scenery a little. All right. I'll look around for some wood. Wait. What's the matter? There in the dark. I thought I saw something move. No. Let me go. Let me go. Hey, what is this? Cut. Cut. I got him. The sailor's out like a lark. Uh, neat work, Joe. This is the best thing that could have happened. You think Kent hurt us, Bart? No, not a chance. And anyway, Bailey's taking care of him. All right, drag her back to the elevator. When this mine blows up, Joe, in less than ten minutes, every bit of evidence against us will blow up with it. Come on. Say, what about this, Sheriff? We've been traveling quite a while. Don't you worry. Well, where's the town? Where are we going? We ain't going. We're stopping right here. Hey, what's the idea? Get out, Kent. What? Go on, move. But I don't want to get out. Where's the telephone? Say, what's the idea of that gun? What's the idea of meddling into our affairs? Your affairs? Never mind. You sure won't meddle long. I'm going to fix you while Pemberton and Deneen fix their mothers. Now stand up and take it. Watch what you're doing. No use trying to run. I see you, and I never miss. <laughs> Got him, just like that. That's what you think, Sheriff. See how you like this. Hey! Hey, what the... Get back away! I'm somebody who's come to give you a lesson in manners. <laughs> That'll take care of your car, and this will take care of you. Leaping high in the air, Superman streaks for the entrance of the mine and drops into the inky blackness of the shaft. I'll just drive straight to it through the solid rock. Here goes. Now then, Miss Anderson, this is the last time you'll interfere with the affairs of the North Star Mining Company. Better get moving, Bart. Let me go. Let me go. Don't waste your voice, Miss Anderson. Come on, Bart. Less than two minutes to go. We gotta grab that elevator and blow. Goodbye, Miss Anderson. In two minutes, you and the entire North Star mine will vanish in smoke and flame. With all the evidence against Joseph Deneen and Bartley Pemberton. Bart, will you hurry? You want us to get blown up too? Au revoir, Miss Anderson. All right, Joe. Quick, run for the elevator. Stop! Stop! Don't let me here! Help! Help! Uh, I heard them, the devils. Leaving her there to die when the mine blows up. Only seconds to go now. There. Almost in. One more wall to smash through. This will do it. Ah. Oh, oh, get me out of here, quick. Miss Anderson, don't worry. Who are you? I heard you. I thought the mine was falling. Yeah, that's just what it will do if we don't get out of here, quick. No. Okay, I'll just pick you up. Don't be frightened. Already, already. Now, now, no time to run. Down the gallery and up the shaft in one bound. Quick, quick, I hear it. The explosion. Up, up, and we're away. Sure, you're all right, Miss Anderson? Mr. Kent, I tell you, I saw him. He carried me out of that gallery and up the shaft, right up to where you found me. A tremendous man in a blue costume with a flowing red cape. A superman. Oh, now, Miss Anderson, now, now just, just take it easy. Uh, here comes your brother. Uh, look who he's got with him, Pemberton and Deneen. What? Uh, now then, you swap, that's all I want from you. I've got you and I got you good. In two sets, I'll give you some more of it. Now, stand still, you two. Look, look what I found after the explosion, right near where the shaft was. It's just broken rock, old rusty bits of rock. Miss Anderson, that's gold. Gold, gold. Yes, it is, pure gold. Here, look. Look at these nuggets. And I saw the vein, too. The explosion opened it up. Well, what do you think of that, Miss Anderson? You mean, you mean the mine is good, after all? It is now. And all the people who put their money into it, the poor old women that Pemberton thought he'd swindled, well, they'll get it back, and more. Let me see that. Stand back, uh, you. Mr. Kent, I can't believe it. Where are you going? There's another prisoner out there somewhere. 
He called himself a sheriff. I'm going to pick him up, and then I'm going to phone my paper about that Superman you saw. It's the best story of the month, Miss Anderson. So long. Looks as if Clark Kent might have a good deal to explain when he gets back east. When people begin checking up on Superman. But there's another mystery brewing. Another incredible adventure which puts everything else to one side. Be sure you tune in the next installment and follow the story. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine.